Hyperbola Parabola Ellipse Circle Do you know, how they originate? And, how important they are, in planetary motions? In this 3D animated tutorial, you will learn all these answers, and concepts. Hyperbola, parabola, ellipse, circle, etc., are based on a same concept. But, with slightly different parametric values. To define any one of them, you need to consider, three basic things. Number 1. A fixed straight line. Which is called directrix, in this context. Number 2. A fixed point. It is called, focal point. And, is named as, S. Number 3. A moving point. It is named as, P. Now, if P moves, in such a manner, that, at each, and every position, the ratio of the distance, from the point, P, to the focus, S, that is SP, and distance from the directrix, that is, PM, remains fixed. And also, greater than 1. Then, the trajectory of the point P, is called a hyperbola. The ratio, SP, by, PM, is termed, as the eccentricity, of the conic. For hyperbola, values of eccentricity, lies between, 1, and infinity. If, the point P moves, through a closer path to the directrix, then the curve becomes flatter. And eventually, becoming a straight line, as it touches the directrix. In this special occasion, eccentricity reaches an infinite value. Since, SP, is zero in this case. Isn't interesting. Thus, straight line is also a conic. And, its eccentricity is infinity. An infinite eccentricity can be achieved, if the point P, moves through the directrix. If the point P moves through a closer path to focus, the trajectory tends to become a parabola. We will discuss parabola later in this tutorial. Actually, hyperbola, by default generated in pair. This second curve is called a conjugate hyperbola. And, is a mirror symmetrical to the first curve. Also, note that, there exists a secondary directrix, and, a secondary focal point. The closest distance between these two curves is known as, semi-major axis. These two closest points are, vertex points. And a perpendicular bisector of the semi-major axis is called, a semi-minor axis. The point, where these axes intersect, is the center of the hyperbola. In Cartesian coordinate system, general equation for this curve, looks, something like this. Here, H, K, is position of the center of the hyperbola. The numerators, A, and, B, are the lengths of the semi-major and semi-minor axis, respectively. Now, allow point P to move in another style. This time, it keeps the ratio, SP, by PM, fixed. And, equals to 1. This trajectory is a parabola. Thus, parabola is a conic, whose eccentricity is exactly 1. In Cartesian coordinate system, the equation for this parabola may be like this 1. Here, H, K, is the coordinate of the vertex. And, A is the distance between the focus and the vertex. And also, vertex to the directrix. Again, let us move the point P with a new constraint. This time it moves in such a way that the ratio of, S, P, and, P, M, remains fixed and, less than 1. In this way, the trajectory it creates, is called an ellipse. Unlike hyperbola and parabola, an ellipse is a closed curve. 
By symmetry, it also has two directrix and two focal points and two vertex points. A straight line segment, connecting both vertex points, is called a major axis. This is the longest diameter of an ellipse. Similarly, the shortest diameter of the ellipse is known as the minor axis. The general equation for an ellipse is written like this. Here, h, k, is the position coordinate of the center of the ellipse. It is the point, where major and minor axis cross each other. 2a, and 2b are the lengths of the major and minor axis respectively. Note that, eccentricity of an ellipse, lies between, 0, and, 1. Check that, nearer the directrix, lesser circular the curve is. Now, move the directrix, away from the focus. You can easily note that, the length of the PM, is increasing. Hence, eccentricity should be decreasing. And, the elliptic curve is becoming more, and more circular. Eventually, when the directrix reaches infinity, it becomes a circle. And then, its eccentricity goes to zero. The two focal points, superpose each other. To become, its center. Major axis, and minor axis, becoming equal in lengths. And convert itself, into the diameter, of the circle. Thus, circle is a conic, whose eccentricity is zero. General equation, for a circle, is like that. Here, h, k, is the position of its center. And, r is the radius. Before, going to describe importance, and application of conics, in planetary motions. Let us summarize. A straight line is conic, with infinite eccentricity. A hyperbola is also a conic. But, its eccentricity lies, between infinity, and unity. If, eccentricity is exactly 1, then, it is a parabola. Ellipse is a conic, whose eccentricity lies between 1, and 0. And finally, eccentricity of a circle, is simply 0. Almost, all objects found in the space, or in motion. They usually follow straight paths, if no force acting on them. But, in our solar system, all planets are, under direct control of our Sun. Hence, orbit of each of them are, more or less, elliptical. Their eccentricities lies between 0.007 to 0.246. The orbit of Pluto, is highly elliptic. While Venus revolves, through an orbit, which is almost circular in shape. In general, planetary orbits are elliptical, with two focal points. The Sun resides at one of its focal points. Distance from the Sun, is not constant, during a complete revolution. The position, at the shortest distance, is called perihelion. Similarly, the position, of the farthest point, is known as aphelion. Those comets, whose orbits are elliptic, can return our solar system after a period of time. Like, Halley's Comet. It reappears in every 76 years. Will be visible again, in mid-2061. Temple 1, is another such comet, which will visit the Sun, on March 4, 2022. But, orbits of many comets, or asteroids, are, either hyperbolic, or, parabolic, in nature. Hence, these objects never return to our solar system. Oumuamua, is one such asteroid, which comes closer to the Sun, on September 9, 2017. And, will never return to the solar system. Another such asteroid is C2021A9. First detected by PANSTARS, in 2021. It is likely to visit the solar system, in year 2023. Hope you enjoyed the topic, and learned easily.